Number 11. So we're given a probability distribution. And this is on zero to infinity. So this is no, this is an exponential distribution. And a graph of this, it's got some pretty nice properties, but starts at a half and then it's gonna tail off to zero there. So it's gonna, this is X, this is R, P, F, okay. And that area is one there, because it's, again, a probability distribution. Okay, so we should probably rewrite this um, just to analyze it a little bit easier. So this is an exponential distribution, and the key to understanding exponential distribution is knowing what the parameter is. Once you know what the parameter is, it's going to tell, tell you a lot of information. So this is the parameter lambda. So that's minus lambda and then times lambda in front. So lambda here is the same as the lambda from the Poisson distribution, and it is the mean number of arrivals um, in a given time window. And but this is talk, but the exponential distribution is talking about the time between arrivals. Okay, so there's this connection here. Um, so the first question is, what is the expected value? Okay, so. That is mu. Now, in terms of, so this is gonna be the mean time between arrivals. Um, so we can set this up as, you know, evaluating this integral. Uh, observation times chance of seeing it. This, to solve this, you need integration by parts. Um, but once you do it, you end up seeing that your mean ends up being one over lambda. So you have a handy formula here, and so the mean in this for this exponential distribution is going to be that's after a lot of steps actually. Uh, it's one over whatever your parameter is. So for us, that is one over one half. So our mean is two. And so probably do C first. So standard deviation, so that is the square root of the variance, which we'll discuss in a second. But there's a handy result here for an exponential distribution. That's that sigma is 1 over lambda. So it's again this parameter in it. So in our case, this is going to be one over a half again. So this is two. So our standard deviation for this exponential distribution is two. All right, now for variance. Okay, so to evaluate the variance, you can go about, so minus infinity to infinity, distance from observation to mean squared times chance of seeing it. Okay, so plug in what we know, zero to infinity, because the lower part's gonna just drop out. And then you have observation, you have your mean value squared, so distance squared from mean times the chance of seeing it, which is lambda e to the minus lambda x dx. Okay, if you wanna do this, you do integration by parts repeatedly to solve it, so it's possible, but um, we, we know that this is going to end up being sigma squared. Okay, and we have a result for sigma here. So this is simply, you know, sigma was 1 over lambda. So this is just simply 1 over lambda, squ uh, the square of 1 over lambda. So which is 2 squared, which gives 4. Uh, so using these uh, results that for the uh, exponential distribution really saves a lot of time because the steps involved with doing integration by parts are substantial.